Welcome to this month's subscriber workshop. This is called the 90 day success sprint. What I'm going to show you today is a system that I learned from Laurel Portier when I was in her lean on Laurel program. It's actually my take on something that she taught me that we both actually have learned from our mutual friend and mentor, Nick Peterson. It is the system that I've used to create a business that funds and fuels my lifestyle, which is being able to take care of my grandson for nine hours a day, five days a week, instead of what I was doing before, which was just working all the time, kind of living to work situation. And using this system over a period of nine months, I was able to dial in a business that provides for all of my financial needs, working just a few hours a day and leaves me free to do what I want where I want, when I want, with who I want the rest of the time. In addition to presenting this 90-day success sprint process, I'm going to layer in some ideas that most of you will recall from the clarity hierarchy. There's a post in the link that I shared earlier that you can refresh your memory. It's a system that I, I learned from Lucas Roszewski that he's actually writing a book about now. And so I think my take on this system and the common language and principles that we all have learned together through the Creative On Purpose content and anything that you've gleaned from Guardian Academy content or Man Bites Dog content is really going to be a powerful force multiplier for catalyzing your progress towards whatever your priority is. What I'm going to do is give a real live over the shoulder look at how I am currently implementing this process in my current 90 day success sprint. Before I show you my Google Doc and, and show you the, the system that I'm using, the first thing that you have to be able to do is to dial in your priority. I'm not going to spend any time on that in this session. We have talked about this many times. We've done trainings on it. There's plenty of uh, content in the Creative On Purpose Substack about dialing in your priority. The one thing that I want to say, and this comes from some takeaways that I had from recent conversations in the Catalyst Club weekly calls is sometimes your priority is to figure out what your priority is. And sometimes you define a priority and in the pursuit of that priority, you refine, iterate, and improve your priorities. You can think of priority as goal, objective, purpose, whatever it is you're trying to achieve. For me, a priority is the most immediate thing that I'm optimizing for or working on in order to achieve the vision of the life that I want to be living. So my number one priority for the last several years has been, I want to be a full-time grandparent to my grandson, Jasper. That means I have to optimize my business to provide for my needs my ability to take care of my financial responsibilities and leave me nine hours a day, five days a week to take care of Jasper. And then I keep thinking about the step before the step. Well, how am I going to create that kind of business? Well, I have to have an offer that, that I can deliver to an audience that's eager to purchase from me. And I have to have a, a sales success system that puts that offer in front of that audience and keeps enough people coming into my revenue generator to build a sustainable business. And so having done all, like my my priority is completely locked in. We are Jasper's full-time daycare. My uh, income goal for this year is already taken care of. I've achieved that priority. So my current priority is how do I create sustainability and maintain sustainability in my pipeline, funnel, whatever you want to think. I'm not big on funnels, but however you want to think about your client acquisition process. How do you create prospects that can become great leads, that become great clients and so forth? So that's the priority that I'm working on. The last thing I want to say before I open up my Google Doc is I am not suggesting that any of you do anything that I am doing. <laughs> You define your priority. You define your process. You need to play your game on your terms. Don't play my game because my game is my game. And you can't win my game. Only I can win my game. You can win your game. Define the game that you want to play. Define the rules of engagement. 
and then figure out how you can optimize to win the game that you want to play. So if, if elements of what I'm doing make sense to you and you want to try to incorporate them, that's fine. But I'm not suggesting that in any way, shape, or form that you do what I'm doing in my 90-day plan. I want you to just look at the overall framework and how something like this might actually help you close the gap. Because in order to close the gap, you have to have a destination. You have to know where you're going. You have to know where you're starting and what you're starting with. We've had several workshops where we've talked about this and you need to define the two or three things that need to go right enough for you to start closing the gap. How do you close the gap in less time, with less effort, with a little bit more fun and joy, right? So starting point, destination, the three things that have to go right, that's your system. And then it's all about optimizing your system, raising the floor on whatever is the least efficient piece. So just going to hit the pause button there. Is everything that I've shared so far, does that make sense? You can just give me a physical thumbs up if you want to. It makes sense to everyone? Okay, cool. Just one last thing. This is probably going to be one of the shorter trainings because I'm, I've am i literally written it all out and I'm just going to walk you through it. So, um, you know, once we're done, I think it's going to be much more beneficial to you all to have more time in the Q&A and implementation session to ask questions and figure out how you can, how can, can you use a similar system or process to actually create your 90-day success plan and implement it. With that, let me share my screen. Do you all see July through September 2024? Awesome. 